Yes, everyone should be dancing. Good morning, my dear. Nice to see you. That's Jerry. That's Marie. music. Well, it's Saturday, July 5, 2014, and I'm leaving back Amazonia, my parrot, to go to the farmer's market. It looks like a wonderful day outside, sunny. Here are my plants.
Uh, this is the entrance to the west entrance to our building and the entrance to the John Street Parquet. I'm standing at John and Man, opposite City Hall. It's 20 after 8 and it's not as busy as it will be a little later. Well, it certainly smells good between this and the apple strudels and the dumplings over there. And the smoke ribs, kettle corn. These are some jumbos from Thompson Farm. There's Little Rock Honey. Well, my friend. Hey, Wanda. What's new? I came for you to tell me. I heard something. What's new? Like, what's N O W S N O W? What's new? That's what falls in the winter snow. What's new? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'll tell it to my little grandkids, and they'll say, Grandpa, I'm a party. So, another nice day. Another gorgeous day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone is interested in what your wife has to say about bees In the barn. and mushrooms. In the barn. Yes. Queen and Maine, looking north along Maine. Well, here I am looking at some really unusual bow ties. Yeah. And I am speaking to Dan and Ponsa. Okay. Um, traditionally in Ghana, West Africa, we are named by the day of the week. So mm -hmm. I'm born on Tuesday. My name is Kobina. And Kobe is short for Kobina. Hence the name Nekotor by Kobe. Ah, hence yeah. the name. Is it your first week here? At the market? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Ooh. It's pretty windy. Oh, my goodness. And you're saying that it's fine with you for me to put this on social media? Yeah, absolutely. It'll be public? As long as you just tag, um, tag it on, on the internet for me. So yeah, well, I'll caption your name yeah. and so on on YouTube. I'll give you my card and you can always check there and I'll take yours. Okay, cool. An entrepreneur minded, so... Well, Dan has been telling me about how he got involved uh, with making bow ties. How did you get involved? Um, Bow ties. So I've always been interested in fashion. Mm -hmm. um, always been interested in dressing up clean, right? Okay. I find that bow ties really add that formal but yet unique um, style to whatever you're. The wearing. one you're wearing. What's it? What's it made of? So this one's made out of wood. Ah, actually. a wooden bow tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unique, man. Thanks. Thanks. And the province uh, helped you to get launched yeah. financially. Yeah, for sure. Is there, is there a demand uh, now for bow ties? Are they making a comeback? Or? Definitely, definitely. So I did a bit of research. Um, if you just look on Google Analytics, there has been a decline on neckties, mm -hmm. right? The yes. long ties. Yes. But there has been an increase. Corresponding on, increase. There has really? been an increase on uh, bow ties. So what Six are bow tie sales uh, in North America or um, in Canada? 
North America, they're rising like year by year. Ever since the 2000s, <laughs> it's been a steady, steady rise all up until now, right? And okay. um, the reason why, like, bow ties originally when they were created, they were really, they were really trendy at first. Yeah. Sort of went on a decline, and now they're starting to come back <laughs> recently. So, what's, the, like, what's the price for yours? Um, it ranges depending on the fabric, depending on the style. Well, these, for example. Um, so these, for example, these ones right here are from Ghana, West Africa. So they weave them in a particular fashion. Right? These are made in Ghana. Yeah, these ones right here, Ghana, West Africa. What what villages or towns? Um, so this one right here, Accra Greater Region, right? Accra Greater Region. They make it. Everywhere in Ghana, you can find out where they make mm -hmm. it. Like, really, they make it everywhere. Um, it's no specific region. You can go mm -hmm. anywhere, and they're actually um, weaving weaving the cloth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know the uh, farmers from Akachi Farms? And Makachi Farms? Akachi. Akachi? I think they're from Ghana, too. Okay. Uh, they're right by City Hall. You should stop by and say hi to them. Akachi Farms? Yes. Are they, like, uh, a, a African store market? Or? Well, they're a farm. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. Kids. So you're going to be here for the rest of the market season? Um, not the rest. Okay. Here and there. Okay. Ooh. Wow. What's the average price for these? Okay. these? These are the two girls that make them. Are they from Brampton? Uh, yeah, I believe so. They live in Brampton? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's a nice hobby. When, when will they be back? Uh, in a few minutes. In a few minutes? Good. So 25, 20 to 35. Eh? Such a mild day. Those are big. Still. Oh, you're, you're interested in stills, eh? Yeah. I thought you stopped brewing. I thought you stopped brewing. Why do you want to still again? I'm talking to Gary Markle, of course. Yeah, I'm looking for some onions. Good onions. Okay. Lots of strawberries. Uh, he's about to buy me a coffee, so Anyways. to heck with filming. So I'm at, where am I? What's the name of your business? We are Cornerstone Estate Winery from Beamsville. Oh. Uh, we've been coming to this market actually for 15 years, but with fruit and vegetables, Wanda's Farm. We also have Wanda Winery, and now they're allowing us to sell wine here. So. Yeah, I've had lots of videos of Wanda's Farm. Yeah. Same people. What's your name? Nina. Hi, Wanda's Nina. My mom. I'm Ish, Hi. and this is Gary. Nice to meet you. And um, this is me. <laughs> So tell tell us about your wines. Is it only this season that um, you can sell wines here? Uh, the LCBO has allowed a two-year trial period for local wines. Starting wineries. this year? Yes. Starting okay. this year for local wineries on farmers markets. Mm -hmm. The argument being that we're farmers too and that this is our product and we should have the same accessibility to customers as any other farmer. Good pitch. And besides, yeah. it makes sense. It does. If you go to, say, France, all you're going to find is French wine. Yeah. Well, How many people live in Ontario and have never had an Ontario wine? Well, back in Guyana, we had a, a term. We used to say, tell people, go to France. You know, if they want something unusual, go to France. Interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, they're just, they decided to that it's, a, it's not only great for the small wineries, but it's also a great way of promoting Niagara wines in Ontario. It makes good for the. Um, bring it right to the customer. Good for the LCBO. Good for whoever made the pitch. If we make money, they make money. Well, the consumers are happy. That's right. You know. You know, you get your food, you get your veggies, your bread, meat, yeah. whatever you may get at the market, and now you can eat your wine for dinner. So wine. you want to have wine tasting and set up sometime? We do. Yeah, we just do. You know, half a shot glass, nothing too exuberant. 
Nobody is getting wobbly in the streets of Brampton, but... Well, let's... And this is... It's actually a new release, even though it's five years old. It was aged for three years in oak. No kidding. Older oak, though, so it's not What's super... What's the price for... $16 this. a bottle. Yeah. And we've also got the Stone White, which is a blend of four. Mm -hmm. It's Chenin Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc, Gouverte Streminer, and Chardonnay Mosquet. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a really nice summer wine. You know, just really chill, really nicely on the patio on a day like this. Okay, well, let's get them to work. Yeah. We'll have a sample. Awesome. On? Yep. Is it on? A toast to Cornerstone Estate Winery to LCBO for common sense, and to everyone here, and to Gary Markle. Hello, Gary. Hey. Here goes. Four years old? Five years old? Yep. Folks, at sixteen dollars. You better run down to where are you located. Beamsville. Go to Beamsville, or come to the farmers market next Saturday. Every Saturday till Thanksgiving. Right. Well, this is more like it. Everybody has turned out. <laughs> Yeah, you plant it in, yeah. in October and cover it. Uh, but my dad wanted me to get him a couple of Ontario garlics. So if I buy these now, don't I just let them dry and sprout? Or no? What Maybe I, I think I should get them dry ones, right? Well, you can buy these and dry them. It's the same yeah. thing, yes. But um, I'll get it. Yep. It's really sold out. But yes, you can do that. You can buy it and dry it. That? Yep. I just hang it? I just put it, frankly, I put it in my pantry. <laughs> okay, and just ignore it till the fall? Yes. Until October. Okay. <laughs> we will be back. Good. Okay. That's an interesting name. <laughs> Wicked shortbread. <laughs> so, Tony, you're telling me you're uh, what? Uh, from New Zealand? Yeah, they're New Zealand red deer. Oh. And then we, uh, what happened to the Canadian deer? Uh, the white tailed deer, New Zealand deer are a little bigger. They dry, they're a little bigger. Okay, okay, okay. And then we had a, we, we bought a bull next the following year and we've been doing it ever since. And we is Deer Valley Venison? Deer Valley Farm, yeah. And, and where are you located? We're just 30 minutes northwest of Orange What's the name of the place? Uh, Grand Valley. Oh, okay. There you go. So deer, Grand Valley, deer, deer Valley Park. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. yeah. And you're saying that all your meat is halal? Yeah, halal, yeah. Certified halal. Certified uh, uh, Horizon Meats, uh, Shelburne, does all of our... Oh, okay. Products. Good. He's all yours. Oh, we're going on YouTube. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I have some to try. Oh, okay. I have some uh, some ground. I have some steaks, like on a barbecue or, or a frying pan. Okay. That thickness, two minutes each side on a high heat. Okay. A bit of oil so it doesn't stick. I keep it simple. I just use a bit of black pepper, garlic, because you want to taste.
Yeah. Good job. Well, thank you very much. So they're going to play I Hear You Knocking. And that's Jerry. That's Marie. Morning, my dear. Nice to see you. <laughs> so Andre is introducing me to Tom Baines. Tom Baines. Baines. B A I or B A? Yes. Okay. Very good musician. We found out a lot over the years. Ben. Oh, I'm not Ben. Tom, I want you to meet your friend. And a number of venues. Tom plays all, uh, all over as and when he gets called. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I play whatever I feel. I'm like a, like a chameleon. I just blend into whatever. Are you going to be playing today? Or? Well, I don't know yet. We're trying to see if we can fit him in. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll be around. They're looking at the new amplifier. Okay. Okay.
So what kind of music do you like? Pardon? What kind of music do you like? Oh, I love all kinds. 70s, 80s mostly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know. You're telling me it's your Hey? You're telling me your age, my age. Yeah. Ditto. <laughs> That's the way to be. That's it. Uh, Old body, but young heart. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you come here to the market so often? Time. Oh, really? So, what are your impressions of the market? Hey, well, we, this is far as we got. We got from here to here, so we want to listen to the music. Oh, you live I nearby? Love, oh, sorry, sorry. You live nearby? Uh, no, Chikuzi Chik and Mulberry. Okay. What's your name? Pardon? What's your name? Sandy. Kathy. Kathy. By the way, I usually put this on YouTube for public viewing. I usually put this on YouTube for public viewing. Oh. Do you have any objection? No. no. Can I, I put this? Anyway. Okay. You're okay. We're good. Well. Position so the Tom, Tom Bays, there's no one guitar to back there. Yeah. 
beautiful, beautiful. Just watch the sun. Have I told you lately? Oh, one of my favorites. Absolutely fabulous. So John Sanderson running uh, to replace Susan Fennell and Maria Marie Thorpe. Marie uh, is one of the singers and players in this band. Yes, 
Everyone should be dancing. Mm -hmm.